Hi, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we will look at the EV stocks, starting with Tesla, Ford, GM, s -Bank, New, and the others. And we will look at the ones I, that are into the batteries, the EV to go, the quantum scope, and the likes. We will look at them on the chart. We will look at their fundamentals and if there are any balance sheets to look at. We will look at their PE ratios. I am not sure they have good balance sheet to show, but we would have a look at them one after the other. We are looking at Tesla on a daily chart. Now, let me start with drawing a support line that is visible here. We can all see this support line is holding. Tesla is at 660 is exactly on the support line now tesla is trading above 200 day moving average it's very close to 200 day moving average we all know that tesla dropped down from 900 now this is the 20 day moving average 50 day moving average it looks like downward trading but it is stopping on support here when market opens on Monday, which will be 14th, whether it will continue to go down, if Tesla continues to go down, then Tesla will go below 800. We're looking at this uh, 200 day moving average to hold as support, otherwise it will be around 769. Tesla has been there before. Let's, let's look at Tesla on a weekly chart. On a weekly chart, on a weekly chart, Tesla is still trading. Okay, the support is actually holding on a 50-day moving moving average, close to 50-day moving average here. Tesla is trading below 20-day moving average, but above 50-day moving average on a weekly chart. When you look at it, this support line here, which is now um, the support line, are serve as this. Resistance in the past, you know, resistance becomes support and support becomes resistance. But here, it has served there before as a system, now it is support. What we can see here is a single top. Yeah, it, it might continue to go down, but it's holding on support here at the moment. Um, let's look at, let's check what Tesla has dropped from the recent high. In recent high of 1,286 to where it, it is now, Tesla has dropped about 28%, 27%. The correction is still on in a way, but then um, let's look at GM, GM, General Motors. Now, guys, this is very similar. You know, they are all EVs together. Okay. Um, I want to draw a support line there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sometimes the things are... Okay, this is a support line. Yeah, just like Tesla is on support, is holding. Uh, we are both 200 day moving average. Um, there's a convergence here of a 50 day and 20 day moving average. However, what you can see here that is holding on support. We are on a weekly chart here. For GM, is an upward um, trending. Uh, even though it, it is choppy around there, we can say it's actually uh, in a range here. Yeah? It's been on the range here. Yeah. It's been on the range there. There's a resistance here. And, and that's around... Um, 66, uh, 65 or so. But then, where it is at the moment, it's um, $48.80. The next, the next stop, if it breaks this support, we are looking at um, here, which will be, which will confirm on a 200 day moving up average. And the last time it was around this, this price was 2020, guys, this, this support that is holding is crucial for General Motors, for GM. Let's look at other, um, let's look at 
the other one here, X Pen. X Pen is a Chinese um, electric vehicle. Um, X Pen on a electric part. Okay. X Pen is also sitting on. X, okay, here is the resistance. Is the resistance here because the green angle and is going up to is a resistance here, but we can easily see that there's another resistance here. It, it was broken in, in the past, but it is here currently. Let's look at it on a on a daily chart. On a daily chart, wow. On a daily chart, this one is trading below 20 day moving average, actually below 20 day moving average. It is on a uh, it has been trending downward. Um, yeah, X-Bank is below 200 day moving average here. So um, it, it is significant where it is at the moment. Let's draw this. The support is holding here. However, um, the, it's been actually choppy from early this year. In fact, from late last year when the Chinese, you know, the Chinese issues were, were all the, all the Chinese stocks are actually coming down in, in a way. Um, let's have a look at NEO. Let's have a look at NEO, another Chinese electric vehicle. Okay, NEO, I mean, uh, sometimes early last year to 2020, a lot of people were saying, oh, NEO was going to uh, overtake Tesla, blah, 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 you know. Anyway, NEO is here. NEO is trading up to the $4. I can tell you that I have new in my portfolio. I have got more to average down, but I can tell you that um, I, this is nowhere my my best price. No, you know I I I got new higher than this. Um, I can also okay. There's a resistance here. Resistance here. New actually has been downward. Trading, you know, let's let's just draw the right thing for new. New has been coming down. There's no two way about it. It it has been coming down. Um, for most people that held new to date, you know, it would it would uh, end up being negative. This is 200 day moving average, 50 day moving average. New is trading below. 20 day moving average below 50 and 200 moving day average. NEO is actually downward trading. Whether this is not significant for me, for anyone to really uh, see that NEO has gone around for a bullish, you know, you will expect NEO to get to at least this point. If you want to buy NEO for a long time, you know, you need to wait for NEO to get at least this point here. Yes. There's a green candle here and all that. It could reach here now and bounce back, go up. So you need to wait, really. And this is 50 day moving average. Be patient and see, except you you want to do uh, black cost average you buy now and then it goes up, up back here. But otherwise, you might be actually looking at a falling knife for new. Though it's sitting on a support here at $23. Um, can we look at NEO on a weekly chart? Oh, wow, on a weekly chart, NEO has actually fallen. Let me let me check. I think this this was um, some time ago when I sorry guys, it seems to be very funny. Now let's check what NEO has dropped from the recent eye from the. To two weeks I I think it was then 66. I actually had NEO then too. So NEO has dropped about 60%, right? NEO has dropped 60%. There's nothing more. NEO is trending downward. You can accept that. NEO is trending downward. Um, it's currently sitting on a support here. It broke this support in Sometimes, um, okay, uh, uh, Neo has been here before, but it was 2020. So we are back to the pandemic, guys. The pandemic. This price is the pandemic. Let's look at other stock. 
Um, let's look at Quantum Scope. Keywords. Quantum Scope is trading fifteen dollars. Guys, you have to be careful. You really have to be careful with this with, with this EV uh, stocks. You know. Let me remove this first. So we start all over. Um, I start with this. Quantum scope is downward trading. I don't want to call it a, a falling knife sitting on a support. But then, guys, you guys really have to be careful with this. It stops without uh, balance sheet, all these stocks, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fundamental or oh, it's, it's good, it's that. Look, you have to be careful. You really have to be careful with all these stocks. Now, this is a is sitting on a support, but it's trading below 250 day and 20 day moving average, guys. But there's nothing, there's no two way about it. The stocks are trending down. The stocks are trending down. Downward trading. Can we look at um, Ford? Let's look at Ford. Ford guys, it's loading. Okay, here it's Ford. Ford is sitting on a support as well, guys. They all look similar, you know. This this chart looks similar for all these stocks. The EV stocks. There's another resistance here. You can see. Ford has been here before. The the highest was um uh, 26. Okay, I think 25. 738 that was recent. Uh, can we see what Ford has dropped from the recent eye? Sorry about that. From the recent eye, Ford has dropped about 23, 32%. 2%, guys. 32%. It's sitting at 25, 738. Now it's 1755. Guys, be careful of this. Ford was actually trending upward until recent, you know. But guys, be, be careful of all these stocks. Um, yeah, Ford has, you know, they declare earnings and they, they, the earnings wasn't, uh, the guidance wasn't impressive, you know. However, it, it, it's still an EV, so be careful of, um, you know, its EV stocks. As you can see, it's also trading below 20-day moving average, 50-day moving average. But above uh, 20 day moving average for Ford. Let's see if we can look at, okay, plug uh, power, plug power, plug power. It's loading. Plug power is coming up, guys. Plug power. Also, sitting on it, on a support, guys. On a support here. Trending downward, guys. There's no two way about it. Two way. There's no two way about it. Trending downward. Downward. See, there's no two way about it. It's sitting on the support there. Can we look at it on a weekly chart? You really have to be careful. Look, these stocks, they're all similar. They're all doing the same thing. They're all coming down. They're dropping down from their eye. You know. Um, you can also look at chart point. Chart point is an um, battery, you know, the same thing, the same thing, guys. The same thing from the eye down. See, connect the tree. You're going down, going down here, guys. You really have to be careful if your portfolio is full of this, these stocks, that means your portfolio is down. There's no two way about it. You cannot, you cannot say anything more than that. Your, your portfolio will be down. You see, guys, the same thing. Be careful. We have seen the chart. Tesla is the king. GM is coming up. Ford is not far behind. 
Espeng is not far behind. Neo, whether it's okay to invest in Neo is up to you. You need to do your valuation. Quantascope, do your valuation. There are a lot more of them. Don't be caught up in FOMO. Be careful. Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We will continue to produce great content that will support your investment journey. Thank you.